We will be having an autumn semi-formal on Friday, November 2nd. Pre-sale tickets will be $5 and $10 at the door. Pre-sale tickets will be sold during lunches. Are you playing a winter sport? You cannot try out for a sport unless you have a current physical. Lists of students with current physicals are posted outside of the nurse's office. We are offering school physicals on October 25th if needed. Support the senior class and come to the Chipotle fundraiser Monday, October 22nd from 4 to 8 p.m. Tell the cashier your purchase is for Jamesville DeWitt Operation Graduation. Flyers are in the main office and counseling center. There is a mandatory preseason meeting for the indoor track team on Monday, October 22nd at 2.25 in the small cafe. Environmental Club will be starting a school-wide compost system during lunches next week. Look out for the orange buckets and volunteers to let you know where to divert your food ways starting Monday, October 22nd. Are you interested in flags? The VEX Club will be meeting in B12 on Wednesdays every week. Gender and Sexuality Alliance is having a meeting today in GO1. Freshman Seminar will meet in R28 today. Today, representatives from the following colleges and universities will be available to meet with interested students. Hartwood College at 1030, College of Holy Cross at 11, and Princeton University at 1130. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. JD Varsity football team finished the regular season with a record of 1 and 6. After defeating ESM on Friday with a score of 20 to 20, they clinched a playoff spot and will be going to Carthage this Friday. JD Varsity girls soccer finished the regular season 15 to 0. They begin their sectional run on this Friday at home. The JD Girls Tennis Team will be sending three players to qualify in the tournament next Tuesday at Drumlands. 8th grader Tara Polak at singles, 10th grader Inka Gahara, and 12th grader Olivia DeHoog at doubles. Tara will be playing in the Section 3 Division 2 Singles Championship on Thursday at Oneida High School. Huge success um, in fundraising. Um, uh, all the boys did a great job. We raised $8,650, which is a new record for us. Uh, Everyone's excited for that total. I'm excited for that total. Kids are looking forward to trying to break it again next year. Last game against the square went pretty well for us. Not necessarily playing extraordinarily well, but the result was pretty darn good. Your weather with Parker and Ryan. Today it will be sunny with a high of 61 and a low of 47. On Saturday it will rain and it will be a high of 50. Two and a low of 33. On Sunday, it will snow. It will be a high of 38 and a low of 33. <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome back to Meals of Momo and Paige. The cast has made the executive decision to add co-anchor Paige the Canyon's name to the segment. She is an essential piece to the show you all know and love. Thank you, Momo. I am truly honored to be officially added to this segment. Now, on to next week's lunches. Today is Pizza Friday. The cafeteria will be serving Nardone's pizza. Mm. On Monday, turkey and cheese melts will be served along with sweet potato fries. Tuesday, there will be pizza crunches with sauce. Wow, two pizza days in one week. I know. Pasta and meatballs will be served on Wednesdays with a garlic breadstick. Finally, on Thursday, there will be beef nachos. Enjoy your lunches. With the changing weather slowly pushing us inside and the routine of school well on its way, it's time to explore new areas of the building and meet new people along the way. The P2 student group has planned a school scavenger hunt and students and teachers are invited to play. Each week, P2 students will hide five painted rocks with the character strength of the week painted on them somewhere in the building. Clues to find the rock will be given throughout the week over the morning announcements. Your mission, if you choose to accept it, will be to find one of the five rocks. Once you find a rock, you must find the person in the building whose top character strength is the one that matches the rock. 
After you find a character's strength rock and locate the person who identifies with that character's strength, bring your rock and your new friend to see Mrs. Moore for your prize. Make sure to send announcements to JD Rampage at jd.cnyrig.org. Also, check out Rampage at jdrampage.com.